Hey, people looking out the window at the city below. Hey, people looking out the window full of fun and sorrow. Hey, people looking out the window at the city below. Hey, people looking out the window. You'll be gone tomorrow. Welcome to episode 111 of Nerds Gone Rogue. My name is Matthew Keel, also known as at infinite underscore rewind on social media. Alongside me and my bro bros, Corey, our video in chief at Corey in HD on social media and at Rogue Spartan 4 on PSN because she won't let us change our names. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm here. I'm tired. Cool. It's been a eventful week. I guess you could call it <laughs> trying to get these things up and running, but it's all right. We're good. Stunting, stunting like your daddy do. Moose at Sven on social media. How are you, sir? Doing good, man. Doing good. It's Labor Day. Had a nice relaxing day. It's good. Doing Moose, how was it? How was it being paid to be off today? Oh, uh, fuck you. Uh, know, why are you doing this right very now? Very nice. I know, nice. right? It was great. I got to sit I at would, home. I got paid to go for a hike with my wife and the dogs this morning. I played some Switch, hung out with my baby and my wife. We watched some uh, some Netflix, and I played some Switch, and uh, it was a good time. Speaking of, Ozark Season 2 is up on Netflix. If you haven't watched Season 1, you should both watch Season 1 and then watch Season 2. It's awesome. Ozark with Jason Bateman. It's awesome. Is it awesome? It's... Awesome. Well, since we're talking about how people's days were, you know what I had to deal with today? Don't care. I only care about people who are off today. That's that's too bad. I had people come in and and actually ask me while I'm working. You know what it's like to be stuck in an urgent care center on Labor Day? <laughs> and I'm like, and I. Oh, <laughs> uh, so Moose, do you need good burgers today? I did. I had a Sonic cheeseburger. It was delicious. Nice. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. Aww. laughs> so, that Aww. was mean. that was really mean, though. <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a good one, though. That was a good good timing, Moose. <laughs> Shit, he's gonna hate me. Nah, he's ah, fine. come back. He's fine. He's, he's fine. He's fine. He, he, went, he went to go get Reba to yell at us. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if he did that? <laughs> that would be funny if she came up and was like, you leave my man alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Where'd he go? Now I'm, now I'm worried that he's gone forever. We aren't that lucky. <laughs> oh man, Matt, come back. He's like, let me know when you're done being shitty. <laughs> Tell him we're done. We're done. We're done. <clears throat> Jason's like, pick me, pick me. Pick me. <laughs> and come on. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, I want to come back on Nerds Gone Platinum at some point. Awesome. Come on after you play some Spider-Man. Yeah, that, that'll be forever. You're not getting it right away? No. Mm, okay. I've got other stuff to get. Like uh, Tomb Raider and nba 2k and uh something else 
You get hey, what is it, nineteen? Yeah. Hey Matt, welcome back. We missed you. Hi. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh man what are you guys playing you guys playing any games of course you were because you were off today fuck you both what are you playing <laughs> um well i'm gonna start because i've been playing something really interesting and i think a lot of people need to look at if they own a switch or i don't know if it's on ps4 and xbox one yet but it's definitely on pc also uh bad north oh it sucks to be that guy doesn't it it does suck. <laughs> Anyways, I've been playing Bad North. It's uh, kind of that like game a, looks cool, man. That game really does. It is cool. It is, it's really cool. It's it's a little slow at the beginning because like you feel like you're kind of using the same strategies over and over. If you like, like if you understand the concept of the game, the beginning of the game is going to feel real slow. But once you progress and start getting uh, more armies and more units to control. And you get to these bigger islands where multiple boats are coming at you at like the same time. Man, that game is fun. It's like a uh, tower defense meets Captain Toad meets real time strategy. Uh, and then it's got some RPG elements where, uh, depending on how well you do during the uh, the level you're in, you get coins which kind of act as uh, skill points that you can pump into characters, and then you use those skill points to buy abilities. Uh, which is really cool. Like I just up upgraded my archers where they can have arrows that penetrate shields. So uh, because it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing and enemies with shields can block arrows from the archers, but you unlock abilities that can obviously counter that. So uh, it's pretty cool. And I got uh, these swordsmen who I just upgraded their swords to be faster when they swing them so they can kill faster. So really cool i like that game a lot you should definitely cool. check it out it's, it's 15 bucks uh matt i played a little bit of into the breach but i'll let you talk about it a little bit more since you've probably been playing it a lot more than i have uh no i probably haven't <laughs> <laughs> i mean i, think I played I've, it i played it as well so that's a interesting game i thought it was going to be like a straight up and almost like a almost like an advanced war style game which you know it it kind of like a, it kind of has great base combat, but it's also almost like a roguelike type it's, game. It's advanced, advanced wars. Yeah, it's really hard. It is. It's that's really hard. I mean, th that's what that's what subset does. I mean, yeah. I mean, F FTL is right. Is a great roguelike. And, yeah, um, I like. I was kind of excited to play it because I've been hearing so much about it, but then I was like, I forgot it was a roguelike. Well, yeah, well, it's like a tactical combat roguelike, which is weird. <laughs> it, which is which is it, it like amps up, it amps up the tension in a in a really good way, I think. But um, how far did you get? I mean, I I got to like I'm st I was still on like the first island, in okay. in like the third or fourth section of the island. Yeah. So I mean, did it you unlock anything at all. No, I, okay. I mean, I, I died twice and it asked me to pick a different pilot because like, I guess the pilots have certain abilities that will kind of help you progress through. So, uh, yeah. And platinum invades. How are you, Mr. Marshall? What's up? And welcome to nerds gone platinum. No, this wrong show. You're doing nope. wrong. Wrong doing show. Wrong. Well, well, that's tomorrow night. <laughs> this ain't episode two. This ain't episode sixty-two, take two. This is Nerds Gone Rogue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on your show tomorrow and be like, "This is Nintendo Power Block." <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I mean, Whoa. I mean it, it could we, be. I mean, we already, we already get Ed in the chat each week telling us how PlayStation is not as good as Nintendo. So well, relax. Well, I mean, we could have that conversation. I, I think, I think it'll turn out. I think it'll turn out. It'll turn out different than he would really want. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but my, like, my head already hurts anyway. <laughs> I don't want to have that conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey, finish up. What were you? What else are you playing? Um, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Every night, I've been playing Tetris. Every night, like literally every night. Uh, but see, you I, don't do the Puyo Puyo part. 
No, I only play Tetris, which is a big waste of of thirty dollars or however much Puyo Puyo Tetris was because like there's a demo on the eShop that is literally uh you can Tetris. play just Puyo <laughs> or just Tetris, which is free, and it you can play it as many times as you want without it like deleting itself. So it was literally a big waste of like I it's no oh, thirty nine nine nine. It was a big waste of forty bucks uh Jesus. to buy Tetris. But what is the Puyo Puyo part of it? I don't know. I, it's too hard. For me. I don't, I don't understand right. it. Just I played it once. I'm like, what am I doing? Why are there brick walls being built as I'm playing? Like, it's just no. whatever. So, uh, Puyo Puyo is awesome. Is it Trump? Puyo Puyo? Is that like Spanish for Trump? I don't know. Building brick walls? I don't no. know. Wow. 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 <laughs> that, was, that was an outreach. Uh, God. How many beers have you had today, Moose? It's about as big a reach as that motherfucker's toupee. Um, uh, Moose, or, or Corey, you play anything else? Yeah, oh, I played. I played a little bit of Fortnite. Uh, I played a little bit of uh, Rainbow Six Siege. That's a game that I would really, really like to sit down and start getting into. That game is really fun if you know what yeah. you're doing. Which Siege even if you don't great. know what you're doing, it's still fun until you get like 13 year olds yelling at you with their high pitched squeals of whatever. Uh, but I started using the guy with the sledgehammer in that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I think, awesome. name, I think his name literally is Sledge. Uh, you so, are correct. Uh, so I, I started using him, and I started using the guy with the uh, that can kind of hand out body armor packets mm-hmm. to everybody. Uh, yeah, because that's the defender. Yeah. So Sledge is the attacker, and then um, is it Rook? Maybe? Yeah, Rook, Rook is the... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, is the, is the, the first, guy with the armor. But yeah. he's the only the only problem with him is he's really slow, but it's nice to give out armor to your guys. So. Yeah, yeah, and if like you're defending a point, it doesn't really matter if you're slow or not. So yeah, uh, right. I I also started using the guy with the the beard, the big long beard, and uh, I forget what his name is. But uh, what's do you know I what start, his special ability is? I, no, not really. Okay. I've only used him like twice, and uh, we got slaughtered that match mostly because i didn't really know what i was doing and i would die almost instantly but uh i started going for the characters that had the the uh better abilities instead of the characters that looked cool because usually the coolest looking characters are the worst ones yeah (laughs) so shit abilities uh so i play a little bit of that i played a little bit of overwatch uh and by a little bit i played like three matches of overwatch game's still good by the way in case anybody forgot uh Really is. Overwatch, Overwatch, still, still a great game. Uh, and then I tried to play Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on Switch. Uh, that demo came out, and I was playing that a little bit. It's, it's a good looking game, but it's a, uh, it's just it's time to face face the facts that Monster Hunter just not my game. Just, just not, well, yeah. just not yeah. for me. I think- I well, I was listening to Giant Bomb this week, and Jason A. Striker was talking about playing that, and he's like, he's like, it is really difficult to go back to that game after playing World. Um, and I and I guess between the two, like Monster Hunter World has a ton of quality of life changes, despite still being super obtuse. I haven't spent a ton of time with World. I I'm, that is sort of on my docket before the end of the year. Um, especially when you start talking about game of the year. Yeah, I have a big list of games I need to <laughs> at least try to play a little bit of. Uh, but other than that, uh, and, and by, by playing, I mean I've played like a little bit of Captain Toad and Dead Cells. Dead still, Dead Cells is a game that I just <laughs> can't put down either. Yeah, and it's, it's a, a good and it's a good game. Like it's a good and, problem to have. Hey, I su- I suck at it, so like my runs are real short all the time anyway. But it's a good game just to pick up and play for like ten or fifteen minutes uh, at a time. So uh, I got to I finally got to the the first boss, and I just I got m- slaughtered because I like didn't have any idea what I was doing, and I definitely didn't have the weapons to like hold my own. So uh, I really need to start exploring more on my runs. With that game, yeah. Instead of just like flying through, because like I I started flying through some of the levels because I was just like I want to I just want to see what's at the end of this area, you know. And turns out when you don't explore, you don't get weapons, and then you uh you die when you get to the boss. <laughs> so because uh, you don't have enough health or enough power, or, mm-hmm. you know. DPS, enough DPS. Yeah. 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 
Uh, I really, problem. I really like the, uh, the little turret that you can find and throw down. There's multiple. Which one are you talking about? The bow, the bow, or the slicer, or the flamethrower? He doesn't have the flamethrower. No, I don't. I don't have the flamethrower either. I don't, I don't know what that is. No. Yeah, I don't either. You have me uh, intrigued, though. <laughs> the little flames. Wait, what are you really? Are you so <laughs> that's why it's called a flamethrower. Oh, I thought. Yeah. It, I thought. I'm was... so glad you were able to teach me this. <laughs> Man. Man. Right. Is it the, is it the this, is, this, is, this is the this is the high quality podcasting you will get on Nerds Gone Platinum. If you go <laughs> it throws flames. Listen, at least he remembers the names of the fucking turrets he picks up. <laughs> I don't know. It's the base. It's, well, it's, 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 base one. it's your favorite turret, but you can't remember. I didn't the name. say it was my favorite. I said my favorite thing I've found is the turret. It's the yeah. only thing you found. It's, it's still, right. it's still a favorite. It doesn't matter. I still found it. God. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, do you know what it was shooting? Was it shooting arrows or was it shooting blades? I don't know. Not gonna lie, I have no idea. Okay. I just, I just use it. I just throw it down and run away from an area where there's a lot of enemies. That's don't my... run too far; it won't work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I learned that in a weird way. I'm like, how come these things aren't dead? <laughs> yeah. Well, so I mean, like, I best is like what I find is to like if you got them on a level like lower than you or above you, climb up, throw it, and then just climb down a chain or hang off a ledge or something so that you're mm -hmm. close enough to it, but they can't do damage to you. And then just watch you, it. Watch you'll it see a tether. There's an actual yeah. tether yeah, to it. It's like a, it's yeah. like a. It's like it an electric like, current. It, it looks like a lightning. It looks like lightning, but it, it's yeah, like, yeah, just an electric charge between you and the um. And the turret. So some turrets, I think, actually, some some run without you needing to be near them. I thought, but whatever. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Uh, so I've I've been playing that and uh, Captain Toad a little bit, and I downloaded the demo for Valkyria Chronicles Four, uh, which is nice. going to switch. So I, I'm. I'm kind of intrigued by that game just because it, I really liked the first one and then I never played the second one and I don't even think the third one came out here. So I I picked up I picked up the the first game on PS4 for like a like real cheap on a PSN flash sale. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed it. So uh that's that's kind of kind of what I've been playing. I I I mean when I say I play these games, I only play little, little chunks of them except for Bad North and uh Tetris. So, uh, but Bad North, super good. I'd highly recommend you guys check that game out. Cool. Uh, Marshall, I will probably this holiday season. Yeah. Chase Wing. A lot of Dead Cells. I actually just beat the first boss without taking a hit and got the trophy. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. What are these trophies you speak of? Um, loving, <laughs> loving Dead Cells. It's it's phenomenal. Um, and a lot of Dragon's Dogma. Okay. In fact, yeah. I probably will finish it as soon as we're done here. Cool. So in about nice. a week. In about a week. I, I don't know if they're going for the realism, but the whole you can't run more than fifty feet and then <laughs> at a breath. It's like so everyone in the game is a fat guy. Okay. Oh, like, everybody you literally game. double over and your companion comes up and says, Don't overdo it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile your character's like, ah, my asthma. <laughs> you're you're literally <laughs> this great warrior risen from the dead. <laughs> but running's the issue. <laughs> Yeah, I have been resurrected to restore balance to this world, but I cannot run more yeah. than fifty feet. I am allergenic. <laughs> <laughs> I can defeat dragons, but cardiovascular? Nope. If you need pass. me to rush to the door quickly, that is a task too far. Uh, what else are you playing? Uh, more Octopath. Okay. Nice. About Thirty hours in. Nice. I'm on chapter. I'm done with chapter two. For everybody, right? For everyone. Okay. Everyone in my party is at least level forty. 
I think Hannah's at 47. Aren't there, how many chapters are there per person? Is there three? Four, I think. Four? Okay. Hmm. Four, I think four is just the end. There's no real, I don't think it's a story necessarily. It's just the end of the game. Okay. Like every, all the all eight storylines just yeah. converge there? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's fun. That's a blast. I can get lost in that. I can just walk around killing stuff, exploring. Two hours go by. Oh, I didn't move the story at all, but who cares? Yep. Now, I have uh, I keep wanting to get to that game, um, but I haven't because other stuff. What else are you playing? Uh, that's it because I'm in a rush to make sure I finish all my challenge games so I can make fun of Yeah, but you, ha you have like two left, right? <laughs> Uh, one in, well, like one in a quarter. Yeah, I mean, you 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 got the Witcher. What? Oh, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> There's lights in here are killing my eyes. <laughs> me and Moose is back. <laughs> I'm just gonna go grab my sunglasses. Me, me and Moose and is here, and I don't have hair. You're oh, welcome. It's like a hundred <laughs> times better. <laughs> You're welcome. Why do you think I did it before my sunglasses broke? <laughs> oh, God, it's awesome. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's a good time. Can't wait to get a new pair. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, Moose, what are you playing? Uh, Dead Cells. And I've been playing through Ratchet and Clank, and I just... It has it. cells that are dead. Yeah. What? Not too what? long ago. Quick funny feet. story about that. You notice how when you play a game enough, you start Googling stuff, and it always comes up first, like... Dead Cells boss, Dead Cells items. Oh, yeah. I got a Google search today about dead skin cells. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind. <laughs> Google, you're getting a bit too real. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Didn't search for that. <laughs> yeah. Looking up, look up a weapon, not skin cells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so beat Ration and Clank. Great game. Great freaking game. I'm glad I jumped back into it. Um, got off the planet. I wasn't necessarily stuck. I just got to a point in the game where there were other things to play. And I'm just like, I don't know where I'm going. And then I, every, every week I'd be like, I want to go back to it. I want to go back to it. And then eventually it just got deleted. And so i um, glad I was in the backlog challenge. Um, good. The final boss fight was a lot of fun. A little frustrating. But then once you like figure it out, it's, it's good. Good to go. Like maybe third or fourth try. I got them. So, um, cause I don't think like I was talking to Jeff about it and just like, yeah, I had certain weapons leveled up and it kind of made it easier. And I'm like, I don't even have those weapons. So I'm going to have to figure <laughs> out like my own way to do it. Um, but, uh, got through it and like the credits rolled and I was like, Oh, I was like, okay, so it's over. I'm like, awesome. So, and it actually did a good job of setting up a sequel, which I'm sure they're going to be doing because, that game was was uh, pretty damn good. I mean, it's it's a it's a damn good game. It's a good series, and it's something. If they keep bringing it back at that forty dollar price point, it's going to be awesome. So I think people will keep buying it. Um, and then Dead Cells, trying to get to the final boss, but um, it's kind of hit or miss. Excuse me. So trying to find like more blueprints and stuff. Like I've seen uh, Thomas posting pictures on, on Facebook about stuff he's been seeing. And I'm like, I, I, I'll see his weapons. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell that is. Like there's one where it's like the metal sign. And I'm like, what is that? I, like? I picked that <laughs> weapon up. It's, it's, it's basically like you blow fire. That's pretty freaking awesome. It is okay. pretty awesome. I mean, it's a, it's a slow as hell weapon. It well, yeah, 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 it's yeah. not very optimal. Um, yeah. I don't think, but like I could, I if I was able to get it more often, I'm pretty sure I'd figure out how to have a real good time with it. Yeah, um, you gotta use the uh, hunter's grenade. Did you get that yet? I haven't, but I haven't unlocked the blueprints for it. Matt just did tonight. I tried using it, it, and all so. it did was hit enemies in the head, and and then that's it. <laughs> like, so certain enemies drop certain specific blueprints if they have it and you throw the grenade at them when they're at like half health or lower 
I think they turn into an elite, and then they'll drop it if you beat them. Yeah. It, now, but, at half health or lower, or do they t do they turn into an elite with full health? Or uh, yes. Okay. Be, but you hitting them in the head means they didn't have it. There's usually right. flavor text saying this enemy has no blueprint. Yeah, no blueprint. I'm like, so am I just supposed to throw this at everything until something? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, just for your run. I just while you're playing the run and stuff. But. I feel like I feel like I am not at a stage in in my dead cells career where I should be doing that yet. I feel like yeah. I, should be, I feel like I'm still. I mean, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get there. I think I think you're you're. Um, I think you need to build build on turrets for uh, what is it conjunct? What is the conjunctivitis? Yeah, conjunctivitis. Yeah. It always that's is that a disease because no, it's it sounds not, like a but that's disease. what I, I say it too. <laughs> no, I'm like, conjunctivitis is a disease actually. Oh, <laughs> it's, that's what I thought. It's more it's, commonly it's, known as pink eye. <laughs> right. I think that's it's funny. conjunctivious. What's up, Deshaun? How are you, sir? Yeah, Deshaun. Woo. Anyway, what else are you playing, Moose? Uh, I hopped in, so I beat, um, Ratchet and Clank, and was like, all right, so I'm like, what am I going to do? And so I thought I have not beaten, uh, Gwendolyn in Dark Souls, so I hopped into Dark Souls and whooped his ass. Um, I, 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 spoilers, he, he, there's like two ways to get to, like, fight him there's an easy way and a kind of harder way but it's not really hard like you gotta go through the catacombs to get the ring to like join the covenant and i actually probably should have went that route so that i could get the covenant ring or the covenant trophy but i was just like I, i'm like fuck it i just went in and killed guinevere or she died and then it opens up and i went in and fought him and and killed him so got that trophy and was like, all right, I think I'm done with Dark Souls as far as my first playthrough. Um, I don't know You're if not. I need to do anything else. Uh, I'll probably have to look at my uh, guide to figure out uh, what I need to do. Emis. Huh? Painted World of Ariamis. Eh. Uh, I'll probably go, like, I'll probably take a look at it next year. So, like, the only reason it's staying on my hard drive is to help people if they need help. But I'll probably dive back into it early next year. I, I do want to platinum Ratchet and Clank. So it was enough fun for me to be like, yeah, I want to get into this and, and play it again to platinum it. Um, so I want to platinum that. But uh, that's been pretty much it. I, I, I started to download Doom. So I decided I want to do, like, a couple quick games or quicker games because I know my two longest game, my longest games are going to be Dragon's Dogma and Divinity Original Sin. So I'm like, all right, I'll download Doom. Try, uh, I'm, I think I'm like a third of the way through that, so I can get through that pretty quickly, and then maybe uh, work on Final Fantasy 15 while I'm uh, playing Doom, and then you know be able to knock that off the list, knock those two games off the can list. Can we get video still of you playing both those games, two controllers? <laughs> Do you mean Final Fantasy 15? Well, I meant play through, you know, while I'm, you know. No, you meant play through them both. No, that's, yeah. yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what you said. <laughs> <laughs> and silence. <laughs> he's, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, I'm not following party to this. <laughs> Just gonna... Matt, what have you been playing? <laughs> were you finished, or are you, are you are, were you finished, or is there more that you're playing? Okay, uh, I I got my 100 first platinum. I I, I finished off uh, bush league hockey. Nice, uh, congratulations, man! Thank you. Uh, I think I I like that game, uh -huh. but, it, but it is a bad game. <laughs> it really is. It is very. It At least is, you enjoyed it though. It is very slow moving, but you know I. I had my fun with it, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm done, to be honest with you. Uh, I also did a lot of Fire Pro Wrestling this past week. How was um, that? Did you have any bugs? Like, did you hit that 
uh, update bug that like erases all your pro- progress. No. Oh snap! No, I didn't. Yeah, I guess I guess there's a bug if you like if you started before like the one point one patch or whatever, which I think is the day one patch. But yeah. you know, some people got it early, obviously. But like, if you started before that patch, none of your progress will work with the game. <laughs> so you have to like. Which, start I think that just depends on what you were doing, like. Uh, and I, I wasn't. I'm, I dove in day one, and I created, I created myself. You made uh, me too, right? I have not made you yet. Ah, jerk. Uh, uh, Reba sat with me, and we created her. And then, oh. we made, and then we made us fight, which was pretty fun. Uh, she, 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 uh, she won. She, she, yeah. <laughs> she beat me senseless. Um, yeah. But like, we didn't actually play against each other. You can actually, you can actually basically put your, you can. The creation suite in this game is so ridiculous. You can create like, you can you can manage their AI, like how yeah. they how they attack and what they predominantly rely on as a finisher. And we went through, we, we actually both sat there and went through each thing line by line. It takes a long time to do that. And then we, we made a fight and she just beat me, uh, which was, and I think the fact that, you know, you can do that in a game is, is kind of interesting. Um, mm-hmm. What Fire Pro Wrestling is, uh, it's a franchise that I believe was worked on by the guy who did the uh, most of the programming uh, in the original NES Pro Wrestling, um, but he has he passed away in 2014. Uh, but he he actually was kind of uh, integral to this franchise, uh, which makes sense considering mm-hmm. you know how much. You know uh, how how weird the original NES Pro Wrestling was. Um, the The game is actually super obtuse. It doesn't really tell you. Uh, it doesn't really tell you how to how to do anything. You have to go into if you just go into the characters that are there. Uh, and for context, um, the character the characters that are in the game are all New Japan wrestlers. Uh, New Japan is a wrestling promotion from Japan. Uh, bigger names there are Tanahashi, Okada, and um, Kenny Omega. Uh, those are the n- three names that I had heard of. Like I don't know a lot of, about that. <clears throat> uh, hello, Mike M. Garcia. Welcome to the welcome to your nightmare. Um, but the the game relies on a, kind of a rhythm rather mm-hmm. than uh, a, a straight brawler. The graphic style is very similar to the mid to late 90s WWF arcade game that was there. Like it, I think it was, if it, I don't remember what the subtitle for it was, but it was the one that had like Mr. Perfect, Big Boss Man. Uh, of course, it had Hulk Hogan. Uh, I think it had Earthquake 2. Is it SummerSlam? Uh, it might be SummerSlam. Uh, I yeah, have that's to what's coming to mind. But yeah. it, it, might, it, might, it was it was a two player arcade game. Um, it has cage matches, death matches, barbed wire matches, landmine matches. You can do Land. the <laughs> you could do the M- you could do the yes you could do the MMA octagon. Um, you you could do a Royal Rumble, and uh, and. This game is this game is this game is fun in a way that I've that I did not expect. Like I was always interested um, in in a in a good wrestling game that didn't so much rely on the WWE or WWF, uh, but I I didn't expect something quite as deep as this, and I I can't wait to play more. Mm-hmm. Um. The mode that I spent the most time with is called the fighting road mode. And it is a it is a very weird, very intriguing and kind of bonkers thing in a sports game, in an arcade sports game, we'll call it. Um, you're in with New Japan and those wrestlers are kind of helping bring you into the into the promotion. And it's done in the style of a visual novel. 
with okay. wrestling interspersed into it. But the way this visual novel it is presented, like if you've ever seen like the zero, the the zero escape games, like Virtue's Last Reward or or mm-hmm. um, Time Dilemma or or what was it nine nine nine? Wasn't that the first one? Uh, those games per- feature predominantly reading text and uh, a character like sort of put in one section of the screen in front of you with different emotions, like their mouths don't move. They did this, except they did an actual photo shoot. So it's like an actual person going, huh? Or, ha, 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 or, you know, they, they just, it just a wide varying range of, um, of emotions, but all of it is like barbed wire placed together. And it's, kind of intriguing and the story itself is actually super cool it actually sort of made me it actually it made me interesting in wrestling uh i don't think interested enough to like start watching again or or to really dig into what new japan is but at least i will look at it with a bit more uh with a bit more respect than i have uh prior to now at least post being in sixth grade and prior to now. Uh, because I did like wrestling from the ages of like six to 12 because the ultimate warrior is amazing. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I uh, I started Donut County. Uh, I'll probably finish Donut County and have my 100 second platinum uh, right after this show tonight. Um I want to play that game really bad. It's actually it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's not something that's going to blow your mind in any in any particular way. I think there's a lot great about it, and uh, I think it's I think it's better than the iOS ripoffs that have come uh, in the interim of that waiting to be released. Uh, played a lot of Dead Cells. I finally got the Ram Rune. I've been to conjunctivitis like four or five times, gotten him to less than an eighth of his health and, and, and died because that bullet hell poison shit is fucking annoying. Um, and I tried to play Into the Breach, uh, a game that I've wanted to play. <laughs> Wait, what is what is going on in the chat? These guys are pretty cool. We're all right at best. Uh, no Speak dis- for yourself, Moose. No disrespect, Deshaun. I'm I'm kind of with Moose on this one. <laughs> um, uh, I played Into the Breach. Fi- finally, I, I was shocked as shit that it came out on Switch so quickly. Uh, but hey, I got to play it. That game is really cool. Um, I got to where I unlocked the Lightning Mech. Uh, I think that's the. I think I'm. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm on the second island. I played it four days ago now, and mm-hmm. I haven't been back because uh, the, because the, the the dead cells is very real. Uh, yeah. I, fi- I finally started playing that game on PS4, <laughs> and and now I'm playing it in two different places. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is this is far and away my game of the year this year. Um, it's going to take something. You know. sp- it's going to take something really, really special to knock it off its perch. Um, I would actually go as far as to say it it might be one of my favorites of the generation already. Um, I, think, I think it I think it belongs in that conversation. Top um, five, top three of the gen. Mm, I don't want to commit to either one of those at this point, but it's definitely mm-hmm. like if you like, I was top actually, 10. I was we'll actually, top 10. I was actually thinking like, what are the best games? Of, I don't think I heard, I think I heard someone on another podcast talk about game of the generation. And I always ask myself that question. And it yes. was, it was shocking how quick dead cells entered my mind. About yeah. It. Like, Bold move. Cotton. What? See how it plays out for him. <laughs> what, what is What is it? What, cotton. What's cotton? Have you never seen Dodgeball? Dodgeball? ESPN, no, I've never, seen, no I've, I've never seen Dodgeball. I don't like good movies. Um, <clears throat> like Joe Dirt. I don't like good movies like Joe Dirt. 
<laughs> way, to, way to seal that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to to quote the idiot wearing sunglasses, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> and let's see what else. I played something else. Uh, I know there's something else I played, and I am at a loss right now. Okay, that that they. I think that's a problem. <laughs> Take that, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll stop that right now. Uh, um, so that's what we're playing. What do you guys want to talk about? Moose, do you want to talk? Or, or should I call him Use? Because he's muted. <laughs> that's a bad joke. Uh, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> that's, that's a Deerig level humor there. Um, he's going to keep himself muted. That's fair. I'll let him. Yeah, that's fine. At least he didn't leave he, like Matt did earlier. Did, I didn't leave. I just decided I was going to play Dead Cells while you guys were being shitty. <laughs> we weren't being shitty. Oh, you were totally being <laughs> shitty. Okay, I wasn't. You totally Boy, were. I just, followed his, I just followed his lead. <laughs> Who's the bigger fool? The fool that comes up with the idea or the fool that follows him? I think they're both pretty shitty. I don't actually. know. So, I don't know. So far... Six of you have followed me into this venture, so that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, He's got us there. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, so I've been thinking. That's uh, rough. That's week, right. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> so is it? Is it? It's getting weirder and weirder the more I think about the fact that there's been a street, Streets of Rage four. Announced and a Windjammers two announced. Yep. Well, you know, it's people just they're they're releasing games for what they love, man. Well, I'm excited about Streets of no, Rage four. Yeah, Windjammers but- two is weird. Streets of Rage four we haven't seen in what twenty four years or something. They said yeah, but like- Windjammers came out twenty years ago. The only thing that's kept that alive has been France. <laughs> like, like of all the like, places in this world like like there's a, there there is a there is a huge windjammer scene in France like competitive windjammers France is basically like Korean Starcraft like that's where you go for the high level windjammers uh, that's so insane to me <laughs> that like, like just like the <laughs> Competitive wind jammers. That's just a, that's just a sentence that exists in the world, man. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. It's, it's a real thing. I mean, God bless it. And as as much as as much as I love wind jammers, I love playing it on PS4 now. And I just, I loved it when it was uh, at my arcade in a bootleg cabinet. Um, but. Like I don't see, I I just I just don't get it. Like I was glad when it was remastered and put on consoles and made accessible without having to find a Neo Geo and a cart to play it. But I, I mean, you, you don't just have a Neo Geo lying around that you can I mean, pop, <laughs> pop. Well, I mean, it's been it's been a weird couple of years. I don't have a Neo Geo that works. Like I have like seven of them, believe it or not. No, I don't have seven. <laughs> I was gonna. Say, <laughs> it started as a joke, but this got real real. Uh, but but yeah, no, I don't. I don't just have a Neo Geo. I feel like I feel like if I just had a Neo Geo, it would something it would be something akin to Moose keeping his thirty two X, or. or <laughs> I think I actually still have it. Yeah. I, 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 I still have my my 32x and my Sega CD. So, well, why aren't you streaming Sewer Shark on Nerds Gone Rogue? Because uh, uh, SCART cables are expensive. That's true. They are. They're really expensive. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> honestly, like I thought about streaming some like old games from like their original form, but like those cords to make them streamable are super expensive. And I'm like, yeah. that's like. That's like five full price Switch games or PS4 games I could be yeah. buying. It's, it's not. It's yeah. It's not that doing that is not. E- it's not cheap, and it's. I mean, it's at, least that, like, man. at least to, Walk my, away. to, to my like, dumb mind, it's not easy. <laughs> no, it's not, dude. It's hard enough getting something with an HDMI cord to stream correctly. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. 
I mean, I just the share button on my PS4, and it seems to work okay. Yeah. And isn't that what you guys do? Isn't that what Moose, Jason, isn't that pretty much what you guys do when you're going to stream a game? Yeah, through the PS4. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so it's it's super easy. Oh, wait. Corey only wants to play that Switch. Mm-hmm. No, I streamed a little bit of uh, uh, The Division and Fortnite the other night. On no the division on Xbox <laughs> on Xbox. Did you have a, do you have a hard time on Xbox getting that to work? No. Oh okay. It's no. never used, so of course it works. <laughs> Josh fired. My Xbox gets used all the time. <laughs> the Netflix is real. <laughs> <It's> real. <laughs> you know, that's that's where my PlayStation sits. <laughs> You're just saying that because the platinum guys are here. <laughs> Um, he's been on PS4. It's online. He's been on for the past three days. My yeah. wife, my wife's been watching Netflix. Yeah, she wrote. She's been watching them Kardashians, yo. Um, not on Netflix. I have got no, on Netflix. That's only on like I don't know, whatever those weird channels are. Bravo E. He knows the channels. He was trying to avoid it, so it didn't. I said like Bravo something. and E. He's like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like throw us. Some, he's like, well, see, I just I know the A's. I gotta throw some B's and C's. Out no, her, it, her, see, her, he, her most recent obsession is uh, 90 Day Fiance. Oh, my wife watches that. Is that? Oh, it's, it's so it's bad. A show, it's like a where like an American tries to marry someone from a different country, and it's like they only have 90, 90 days to meet like and H one visa or something. Right, yeah. 90 days to, I don't know. Yeah. If either of your wives ever pick on y'all for playing video games, you just fucking point that at the TV and the shit that they're watching. And dude, you that say, ship, shut that, your damn pie hole. That ship sailed when my wife married me. So, Does she pick on you for, for playing video games? Or, no. or is she you know, cool with it? She's cool no, with it. she's fine. She's fine with it. Okay. That's why my, I never really why got my, to ask James that's why my anything. that's why my switch charger is plugged into the same outlet as her phone charger so nice she's understanding she knows she knows she's like yeah if, can I watch my show I'm like I'm I don't watch TV you can watch whatever you want so I just put my yeah. headphones on there you go well now lock now, her out now man. I'm, hold, lock now her I'm out. holding the baby now I'm holding the baby and trying to play switch have you ever tried to play switch with like a Ten bout human being resting on your belly, and I got a platinum and Peggle holding Aria when she was three months old. Nice. <laughs> gotta bring up your, Marshall. gotta gotta raise your level, Corey. Gotta bring I, it up, no, buddy. <laughs> no, I can raise a level. You know what I did the other night? Hold my baby. Somehow, Tet- I finished Tetris. I don't know how that happens. We're like, okay. I didn't know it ended. I didn't either. You, ha- it's. It's 15 levels. Like, there's only 15 levels in Tetris. And Are you talking about the Tetris on, in Puyo Puyo Tetris? Yeah. Because oh. in original Tetris, there's not only 15 levels. I know. In Puyo Puyo Tetris, there's only 15. Oh, okay. So you are so you and your baby Tetris. Okay. Yeah. You got to cut him some slack, man. You got to cut him some slack. He, needs, he, won't, he, he won't play the Puyo Puyo part. That's actually really fun. No, it's not. It really is. You haven't even touched it. How would you know? You're right. I haven't touched it. You know, there's like a whole adventure mode in that game. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Play it, then it won't be. It won't be not worth. I've only. I've only. I've only got into the main menu like twice. (laughs) Because it It has like terrible. It said it has. How do you miss the main menu every time you start up the game? It doesn't make sense. No, it says it says press press A to start. So I press A, and then there's four options that come up. It says main menu, and then underneath main menu, it has three options: Puyo Puyo, Mixed, Tetris. And I just go down and click Tetris and play. Mm. That works. It's a good time. I mean, okay. Tetris is awesome. It seems like you're missing half the game. I am. I don't care. I'm I'm probably missing like eighty percent of the game. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Uh. 
What do you say we talk about politics? What's going on? No. <laughs> No, no. Let's let's not let's not do I like, that. I like let's... I like the relationships that we have. We do not need to destroy it with politics. I mean, it it only it only gets destroyed by politics if you let it. Number one. Uh, well, that's true. No, no. You do have a valid point. Yeah. You have a valid I mean, point. Because I'm and no, I don't actually want to talk about politics I, because I have an interesting question. For okay, you, gentlemen. All right. I came up today because I'm addicted to dead cells. So I was playing on the computer because the wife and daughter were watching Netflix. Do you ever play a game on separate systems and get confused by the controller, even though the button layout is in the same spot? But yep. you like, I was looking at the Xbox controller because it, and I'm like, no, it's the same placement, but what's A? What's well, where? I mean, look at. I mean, if you look at the Xbox and and Switch Pro controllers, like that's a, a weird looking sidekick you have. A and B. <laughs> Your sidekick has joysticks. <laughs> sidekick. Wow. Yep. Uh, Fine, I'm not gonna make my point, jerks. Old people jokes. No, I, I wouldn't even listen to your boy. No, well, it's just like. Say. It's just like the A and A B X Y buttons are all swapped on these two controllers, and it's just really annoying. Yeah, I mean it's the same. Well, it's, it's the same with PS4 and Switch too. Well, well I mean, yeah. it, the one PS4, difference is PS4 like PS4 has shapes, so it's easier well, for my mind to wrap around. Here, here's here's the problem with PS4 and Switch. Switch is like confirmation is the the right side button whatever button that is, which would be circle on the PS4, but confirmation on the PS4 is X. That's the confusion. Like yeah. It's legit confusion. It's not like, oh, I'm looking for X, and it's in a different spot on this controller. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's yeah, it's actual, like, completely different uh, functions that screw me up. Yeah, like, so I, like only, ah. I only recently got used to teleporting around the map in dead cells because i used to just walk yeah. everywhere like an idiot um that doesn't surprise me you i mean you, you, I, you, I, haven't I, beat, you haven't beat the eye boss in four attempts yeah i threw that shade i Quit. mean it took me two times man okay times. okay good for you i just like good job right, moose you're good at games <laughs> fucking whatever now you wonder why i always leave your ass behind in bloodborne or you're trying to talk to people. Um. <laughs> so, oh, Matt, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. What is this Super Meat Boy Rival Rush game? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, there's I heard new, about this. There's a new Super Meat Boy game coming out after forever called Rival Rush. Yeah, there's also a new Binding of Isaac game. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Which I don't know uh, what that it is. It was no, it was confirmed as the final the final DLC for for the current game. It's not yeah, a new game. Yeah, he said that after three expansions. I'm not. I don't. I respect Ed McMillan enough to not believe him when he says shit like that. I mean, he said so on Twitter himself. It only took seven years uh, after after its release for it to be the year of Binding of Isaac. Um, but. Super Meat Boy Rival Rush. I don't know. Yeah, I read the press release and I still don't know what it was. I don't know. It was playable at PAX. I didn't know if you had like a idea of what that game was or not. No idea. Okay, well, no, guess we're not finding yeah, out this episode. I, Stay tuned I, for the next episode. I mean, it'll give, it'll give me something to do <laughs> next week. Try and find out what this is. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Okay, PAX West weekend is here, and I know one game many people are able to check out Super Meat Boy forever. This is from Destruction. Oh, it's Lane. a card game. Never what? mind. It's a card game. Oh. That's what we need. Another collectible a one card versus, game. A one versus one collectible card game. Um, yep. Wow, yeah. this week says some bullshit. <laughs> like... Considering okay, considering isn't Binding of Isaac getting a card game or a board game or something? It's getting a card game. Yes, it's not a collectible card game because everything is coming in the box. 
But I find this to be very, very interesting considering the two people involved with the original Super Meat Boy are no longer together. They don't they don't work together at Team Meat anymore. Edmund McMillan is at funded or got a, uh, a Kickstarter funded uh, by some distance for a card game about his post Meat Boy game, Binding of Isaac. And now Super Meat Boy Rival Rush is a collectible card game, a, like Magic the Gathering where you have to buy packs. I mean, and oh, that's, that. yeah, no, like that's, that, that's, that, that's, that's dead and buried now. Um, if it, if you can't buy it in a self-contained fashion, fucking, there are very few games that can survive in in a Magic the Gathering world like that. And most of them, I mean, Magic the Gathering is like the World of Warcraft of collect- collectible card games. It may drop in subscriber base, but it ain't going away. And they figured out a way to exist in electronic and physical formats. And this just seems like a this seems like a, a half-assed idea, and this is I mean, granted, I just looked at that and just heard about it just now, um, but I I'm not interested because I don't have I don't have the money for a collectible card game unless it was unless it was something I could get in one box and and not have to worry. I mean, at least the Binding of Isaac game, if you miss the Kickstarter, sure, you can't get any of the, the stretch goals. And some of the stretch goals are really cool. But you can at least pay 50 bucks and get the entire card set to play at your table with your friends. And from what I've seen, and I've watched them live stream gameplay of it several times, it plays like a, a Magic the Gathering game, but it's not... I think the barrier of entry is still significantly lower than Magic the Gathering. Um, but in in this world, that doesn't mean it would be successful as a collectible card game. It just doesn't. Yeah. Um, so PAX West was this week. Did they announce, did we get any announcements or no? I, I felt, I feel. A sci-fi Souls game. Hell's Point. We already got that though. The surge, the surge is out. I have it. Yeah, I know. That's what they were saying. <laughs> I like. I read the post. Like, oh, finally a sci-fi Souls game. I'm like, didn't the surge come out? And the surge two will probably be out before this game. Well, and it seems like it seems like everybody wants to. It, it seems like the Souls games are, are are in a in a lot of ways the new roguelike. Where it's just like, oh, everything has to be a Souls like now to be relevant to to you know the, the games industry, which is bullshit because most of the games that tout themselves as Souls like end up not being it. Like they have elements of it, but it's not it's it's just not. Like from the little I've played of Lords of the Fallen, yeah, sure, you could tell these people really like Dark Souls, but that's not a Souls like. Uh, I haven't played the surge, but from what people have said, like it touts itself as a souls like, but it's it's not quite there. Um, mm. I mean, hell, even the most souls like of souls like Bloodborne uh, has almost not not near as much in common with the Souls games as a, a, a Souls like you'd think should. The only thing it has is the people who made Dark Souls made it. Yeah, there are mechanics in there, like the, the, the lamps and whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think there was any big announcements done. Yeah, yeah I mean, I know Yacht Club announced that Shovel Knight's getting a physical release in April. But and, I mean uh, that that I mean is that for all platforms or it's every platform except Xbox One. Well, I hmm, I lied. It's it's Switch and PS4 only. Wait, 3DS, I, I feel, Wii U. I, I feel like Wii getting a, a a a physical PC game is super obsolete at this point. Yeah. So. 
Uh, yeah, it's just Switch and PS4 getting updated physical releases. So, oh, Untitled Goose Game is coming to Switch. <clears throat> that game looks oh. hilarious. <laughs> that, yeah, that game that 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 from what I've heard, I've heard the Giant Beast Cast folks talking about that game, and from the way they talked about it, I'm like, man, so you're just a goose pissing people off. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds it sounds like a me game. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There were some pretty cool Nindies announced last week, but mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, Into the Breach available now. That was the big one. Hyperlight and Drifter coming to I, Switch also. I thought Hyperlight Drifter was already on Switch. Nope, it comes out Friday. Uh, Bastion and Transistor are both cu- coming, yep. which makes Bastion really makes me hope here. hope that uh, <laughs> Pyre is coming to Switch at some point. I think Pyre. I think Pyre could easily be a, be on Switch. Um, if but if Bastion, if transit for Bastion. if Transistor can be, I don't see why Pyre couldn't be. Yeah. Un- unless they're they really want the online multiplayer. Yeah. There. Level Level Heads looked cool too. It's like the Level Heads does look cool. It's like that indie Mario Maker game. I want the Bastion announcer in every game. Yeah. That ever. Narrator. Yeah, I want him. You. <laughs> What if you just narr- narrated your life, Jason? That would be fantastic. <laughs> Matt woke up today and did not want to go to work because it was Labor Day. All of his friends were off having a good time playing games. <laughs> this guy had to go to work. <laughs> like an asshole. <laughs> but and then physical, I will not be getting it. What? I don't buy digital games on Switch. Okay. He has a problem. Yeah, I have but, a problem. See, like I, I like, uh, I moved, all, I moved all digital on everything except for my Switch too, and it's like, Switch is the one system that should be all digital. Yeah, <laughs> because like, especially when it's docked, and you yeah. have to like flip up that little dumb cartridge flap. Yeah. That's, and it's like it's just too much work, man. Yeah, it's too much work. I, I I'm kind of on the same route. Uh, I mean. Indies have kind of I've gone the route of just triple A's or like big titles. I'm um, like I got I got dead cells physically and I'm like, why? Why did I do that? Right. And I'd be like, like if I bought it on the switch, I would buy it digitally because there's no reason to have the physical. No, I mean, there's absolutely no reason. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like mainly, I guess, like Nintendo first party games or third party games that I want that I'm like, I want that. And I'll get the I'll get the physical version on sale, so it kind of helps me rain, pull you know rein in my spending on my Switch because a lot of the times it's like oh well this is on PS4 oh it's also on Switch and it's like well where am I gonna play I'm gonna play more on my PS4 than my Switch so that's just me I I mean I've been doing the the physical thing too I did not there there are certain games that I, that I just won't buy physical Dead Cells is one of those I'm like I should really yeah. physical but I'm like fucking why Yeah it's probably the waiting too it's like, like didn't it come out like a week uh, later or like yeah. it, week? well it was Two supposed hours. to Sorry, it was supposed to come out on the 28th but I got mine on like the 18th or something from Amazon yeah. they Jesus. sent my physical copy out super early I was like wow. oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to have this but I'm gonna whatever I don't care. I mean, yeah, like the, the bigger, you know, Nintendo and third party games, um, I would get physical. Like, I got Binding of Isaac physical. I got Octopath Traveler physical. I got, yeah, so did I. Let's, um, let's see what the dumbest game I own physically is. Dead Cells is probably up there. Uh, SteamWorld Dig is mean, probably up there. You mean dumbest as in, like, you should have just got it physical? I should have just got it digitally, uh, yeah. Or digital, I mean. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, SteamWorld Dig. Axiom Verge is one. I was just going to say, uh, freaking Dead Cells is like, it's like 534 megabytes or something. Yeah. That's the funny part about it. The You're end is trying... nigh, I got physically. Binding of Isaac, I have physically. But see, that I did see... not get End is Nigh physically. I got, I got, no, that. see, I did. I bought it physically. And yeah. I didn't know. Well, see, when I got it, I didn't know they were putting it out physically. Well, see, I probably waited so long that they put out a physical version. When you bought it, when it initially dropped, or when you initially bought yeah. your Switch, when, there when might I found not have been a physical version. I, I, it up. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. No, Mike Garcia, no, Mike. 
No, they are not. Not on Switch. Not Switch. on Switch. They're not. The Switch no. you got that you got that cartridge tax that hikes it up yeah. about ten bucks. You gotta pay. You gotta pay that cartridge tax, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like so, it's like toll so. booths on the on the highway. You gotta pay extra. Like if you yeah, like, so if like for, instance, buy- for instance, if you leave Pennsylvania and go to Jersey, you have to pay to come back to Pennsylvania. Well, you know, well, <laughs> it's really for the Jerseyans to pay to bring well, their stench into I Pennsylvania. Think, That's right, what yeah. They're really yeah they're, you got to pay to pollute. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you I think. Me, I think what Mike. <laughs> I think what I think what Mike is saying though is like, there has to be unless like they market it different. There has to be digital and physical parity between the prices. On I don't think Switch. there is. Well, no, because <laughs> unless but, you're you Nintendo. Know, no, like on the Nintendo on the Nintendo eShop, if you look at the digital games and you go look for that physical version, it's the same price. Unless it's like unless they are coming out with something like a quote unquote special edition, which is like uh you know, Puyo Puyo Tetris digitally is twenty nine ninety nine and it's physically it's thirty nine ninety nine because it's the Puyo Puyo Tetris uh, like collector's edition, and it comes with keychains and stickers and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but I remember like yeah, finding a think, finding um, a Isaac was forty dollars. Uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt was forty dollars digitally and physically, which a lot of people were like really mad because Binding of Isaac is like five and ten bucks all the time on PSN and stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but I think Dead Cells. That's a, that's another another thing. Dead Cells, the physical edition is like five dollars more. Than the uh, digital version. May, I mean, maybe they, maybe they walked it back since then, but but I remember early on. I mean, I don't like, know. I don't know. All I know is I got it for twenty one ninety nine because I I pre ordered it at twenty percent off. So yeah, I just want to say I think it's funny that Jason, you know, he he had to step away for a second, and now all we see is his face just staring at us. Yeah, yeah. With like he's a the weird, only one. He's the only yeah. one of us with like a proper picture. With like a weird yeah. disdain, like he's he's just like super judgy. Oh, there he is. He's going to keep that back on. No, <laughs> no, that's because that's his super. That's his picture <laughs> for his just, Gmail account. That's why I know why I know why it's there. But, I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. I just think maybe well, Mike. But like I just I just think it's funny that he's just looking at us with sheer judgment. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. That was totally probably the same I was giving my three year old who walked in. Ah. Oh, that's did cool. She say, did she say, come on? No. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Daddy, uh, quit talking about Xbox. The snipper, the snipper clips was the other. La- game, last, the week's, last week's episode before we recorded, I was waiting for my wife to come home. And Jeff, you hear the door, and Jeff goes, Aria, tell mommy. Where have you been? All of a sudden you hear off screen. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. Awesome. <laughs> how old is how old is your daughter, Jason? Three and a half. Three and a half? <laughs> oh man. she's funny. You got something to look forward to, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Where have you been? Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only three the only three year old I've been around recently has been uh, Reba's cousin's child, Charlotte, and and she is hilarious. Yeah. So. Yeah, a bunch of hams. Yeah. Hams. I don't know. Ham's a good time. Yeah. I, like a good, I like a good ham sandwich. I prefer. I, I prefer sandwich. some some turkey. You know, I got this. I got this four pepper turkey for my lunch this week. There you go. And let me tell you, you put you put a little bit of put a little bit of mayo on the well the the wraps things that I'm using. Put some mayo down. Put some sriracha on that. Sprinkle a little little cheese down. Bit of Cholula. Chop up some lettuce and tomato. Throw it on there. Wrap it up. Mm, It's a good time. Good to go, man. Good to go. Good time. Get fruits and vegetables with you. Yeah, I got some. I got some grapes and some carrot sticks. Nice. I'm trying to. Nice. I'm trying to lose weight, man. It's, it's it's going going well, except for this weekend. I decided to have like a cheat day because I was off this weekend. Had some Chipotle. That was real good. I know. At least it was Chipotle. I hate Chipotle. You know? I hate Chipotle. I, I hate you. I mean, it's fair. 
It's fair. I don't like Mo's Chipotle, I don't like Chipotle, Mo's better than Chipotle personally. For the win. That's yes, right, Mike. That's right. Sriracha's mm. awesome. I'm, it I'm is more good. of a Mo's guy. You're more of a yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Mo's has a, yeah, uh, yeah. If I had to pick the the, sh- the the shitty Mexican knockoff restaurant, I'm going to Mo's. I'm not going to Chipotle. Damn, I don't, dude, I don't no, think see, I, I won't. Don't think I don't think there's a Mo's around here. That's because Ohio go, sucks, Corey. I know it does. I would oh, good, man. Man. good things to come out of Ohio or LeBron James and Devo. All right. I'm I, actually, that's not I'd true. say I'd Tara say Ubu my, came from Ohio too, if I remember. Correctly. I'd I'd say I'm my right. wife, but she's not from here, so right. <laughs> so. Mo's is like the McDonald's of the fast food Mexican places. Uh, see, I don't like, like McDonald's. I don't just, remember the last time like, I ate. Blah. Like Chipotle, Chipotle is way better than most. Dude, not saying Taco Bell that most is the McDonald's of Mexican fast food places. No, no. Taco, Taco Bell, Bell is the Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, Taco Taco Bell knows exactly what it is. It's not yeah, exactly. anything different. So it's like, what? like there have been reports out there that say that that say that Taco Bell is like one of the healthiest places to eat at now, just because of their varying menu. Instead of just serving you like freaking yes, but if you eat a crunch up, you still feel like absolute shit afterwards. Trust me. Well, that's because you ordered a crunch wrap. Well, did you, you, the, did you see the new it thing? Felt like garbage. Did you see the new thing so at Taco good. Bell now? The the no the double the double uh, cheesy gordy to crunch, where it that's has like new. no, They've it's been like doing a, that for years. No, it's like a double cheesy gordy to crunch where they yeah. actually put like. The meat and cheese and toppings inside the wrap, and then fold it around a taco shell that has it in inside. Well, it's new. To, it's new to us in Ohio. We're late to the party. Okay. Fucking Midwest. Five dollar box. <laughs> He's one state away. Cut yeah. some slack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, but Philly's like on the east side, and then you got all of PA. Yeah, you got all of, you got all of Pennsylvania. Away. <laughs> yeah. Which is state. basically like it's basically like driving through a civil war reenactment. Like, or just farmland. This thing sucks. <laughs> like, get the fuck out, man. No. My job's here. <laughs> and I can't go anywhere. I can't go oh no. Moving to another city would suck. Matt's just like, I just moved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just about to get comfortable in this place. Oh, by the way, in the next couple weeks, you're going to see a new background again because my office is about done, finally. Yay! That, yeah, that, you did something productive. That's been a year in the making. Um, Ugh, uh, you guys ready it. for 20 questions? I guess. Yeah, I guess. and it's, your, it's his game, so we're all, we're fucked, but we have... Jason, so we yeah, have, we have you, an you, equalizer. You, you, ha, you, you have you have a platinum wild card in your midst. I know, so probably an advantage. I'm ready to roll with that. Uh, All right. Get, I mean, what, what was the game you picked last week, Moose? Abadox. Yeah, please pick something simple like that. It'd be okay. great. Hey, at least one of y'all re- knew it, so it wasn't so abstract like uh, Todd Oxtra rolling up in here. Oh, I thought you were so, about to say like Pokemon, like I picked the first week. I, whoa, whoa! See, hey, see hey, you said that, last stop, week you, you didn't stop, want us to bring it up, and then you stop, bring it up. Fuck you, stop. fucking hypocrite! It's because I'm, stop, it's because I'm done being mad about it. Don't feed into his hatred. <laughs> <laughs> the blood pressure is skyrocketing right now. Uh, you anyway, control your own so, reality. Shut up, Moose. God, <laughs> God damn it. Moose, Moose, you look like an extra on a really bad ripoff of the Matrix. <laughs> you you broke-ass Schwarzenegger-looking motherfucker. <laughs> okay, it is my game this week. How 20 Questions works is I have a game in my head, and these three chuckleheads have to try and guess it. How did they narrow it down, you ask? By a series of yes or no questions. Each of them will will ask a yes or no question and take turns until they've reached 20. Every five questions, they get a two-minute huddle. After 20 questions, they get a five-minute huddle, and they must give me a guess. If they guess at any point in time prior to 20 and they are correct, they win. If they guess and they're wrong, 
I win. If I win, I get the point. If they win, each of them gets a point, except Jason, because we don't know when he's going to be back. Um, <clears throat> gentlemen, start your questions. Guess goes first. Genre. No, you have to be you have like... To, you have to ask yes, oh, yes, right. Right. All right. I totally messed up the yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a genre? Yes. Um, is it? Was it released after two thousand? After two thousand? Yes. That's one, gentlemen. Two. Does that? Does that? Does that qualify as the our traditional January first, two thousand question? Yeah. Nope. Or are you gonna you go? Said after, it's after two thousand, and I don't think there's any. There's no real mincing words here. Yeah, yeah um, I'm just. I'm okay. Yeah, like with, with 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 this game. I mean, you can narrow it down other ways, but it's definitely after two thousand. I'm starting the timer now. Okay, Corey, you going or am I going? You're going. Uh, is there melee combat? No. Mm. Is this an indie game? No. Triple A. Is this in a series? Yes. Is it a licensed game? No. That's five. Okay. I'm starting your two minute timer now. Okay, so it's a series. No melee combat. Maybe it's shooting. Might be a shooter. Or not, like. Not licensed. Not licensed. Um, we can keep narrowing it down, try and figure out, <clears throat> like, is it on current gens? Was it initially released on current gens? You know, what, what, what was in 2000? I mean, God, that was, well, I mean, that was it could PlayStation be PlayStation 2. Well, it could, it could still be N64 and Dreamcast also. Damn. Mm. Well, we should see if it's still currently. Minute 20 left. What, in development, Jason? So we yeah, or like if one came out for this generation, that would narrow it down probably. That's a good question. Has a game in the series come out on the current gen? I think it's Corey. It's sure. It is. Mm. Mm. You want me to stop the timer? You guys got we, a question? How long do we got? We have a minute left. Okay, we'll, so we'll keep going. So what I, think, do we, I think that's a good question. What direction you do we want to go then? Well, I think we should do like, is there, is there, you know, like shooting because we've done, we, he had that game, he had uh, the end is nigh and that doesn't have any combat. So like we, I want to kind of be like, does it have some form of combat? Cause if it doesn't, then we know what direction to go on to. So, um, I think the, has a, has a, um, game released in the series on current gen is a good question. 30 seconds. I think shooting is a good question. Um, is it a, and is it an exclusive? You know, like, is it a console exclusive? I think that's a good question. Um, Fifteen seconds. Is it first party? Would be a good question because it's, uh, you know, it's a series, so it might be first party. That'd be a good question. So, anyways, five, we just, we just four, work off those. Three, two, one. I need a question, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, which way do you want me to go with this? Just uh, uh, is this is this a current generation game? Like initially released this generation? No. Okay. Okay. So the series is dead this generation. No, we didn't say that. Corey asked if it was released. If it was. He didn't say it was dead. He asked if it was initially released. Yeah. 15 like, seconds on the next question. Is is this a shooter? No. Is it a first party game? And oh. No. Hmm. Was this released during the GameCube, Xbox, PS2 generation? Uh, 
hang on one second. I guess Dreamcast would be thrown in there too. <clears throat> I'm going to say yes, but it did not appear on all of those. Okay. Well, that's fine. At least we know what era it was in. It's not a shooter. Not a shooter. It's not melee. Well, no, just because it's not a shooter, like a first person, that would mean first person shooter. So it could still have shooting mechanics. Could it not? If, if it was a shooter, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a first person shooter. If it's not a shooter. It doesn't mean it's, it doesn't mean, Did it means to- it's not, it's not a first person. It's not a third person. There's no shooting. So there's no shooting is what you're no saying. Shooting. That, okay. that was how I answered that question. Okay. I need so there's no one. shooting and there's no melee. Correct. So run and jump. Pretty much what it's got to be. So it could be a platformer, maybe. Whose turn need, is it? I need a question, guys. Whose turn is it? It's mine. Is it a? Is it a sports game? No. Two minute huddle starts now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sports. there's no melee or shooting. Right, that's what he said. So, like, could it be like a we could go like, is it a puzzle game? Is it a walking sim type game? Is it a? I mean, what would you? I don't think they put out a lot of walking sims during the PlayStation Two. Not to mention the series. No, but it could be something. It could be something like uh, like Telltale, like Jurassic Park, or Save and Max, or it could be like something puzzly. I don't know. Could ask or if it's an action, action, or... action adventure game, like a point and click action game. Well, um, what, what would that be though? That would be hey, like what, what if it uh, wasn't Skull Island? What is that? That game? Monkey Island? You mean Monkey Island? Thank you. Like what there's that. What if it's a, what if it's a tentacle? Full a minute throttle. left. Yeah, we can um, try that if you want. Uh, there's what Sam and Max is the other one that could be out there. Um, um, we can narrow it down by being like, is it first person, you know, third yeah. person? Um, we can narrow it down. I think I think we should go perspective, and then maybe genre, and then maybe thirty seconds. If there's no combat, I, I we could go console, but I don't, I don't want to waste like I don't. Yeah, I don't. I just don't want to waste like a bunch of time. Questions. The questions on fifteen seconds. On, you know, trying to figure out if it's on a console or something. Yeah. So, I guess just be mindful if we go a certain direction. Five, don't waste a bunch four, of questions on it. Three. Two, Whose turn is it? Moose's. Or? Yeah, Moose's. Need a question. Is this a first-person game? No. Okay. Did we did we confirm it's part of a series? Yes, yes. It, it is. Um, okay. It's fucking Lemmings again. <laughs> what if it, what if it's Lemmings too? It is a new season. We can do it. Um, is this <clears throat> is this a kind of like a old school style adventure game? No, it's not an old school. What was the what was the gen that you were talking about, Corey? Xbox, Sorry. PS2, GameCube. It's that gen, but he said it might not have come out on all of those. So it didn't. He said it didn't come out on all of those. Yeah, and it's third party. So what if it's something? He said that he said there's no shooting or melee combat in there, right? Could be magic. Like, could, could be Psychonauts. What if it's third third like, I need a question, guys. Psychonauts is third person. Yeah. Is there a shooting? Yeah. Melee? No, no, no. It's, it's literally just basic platforming, I think. And you jump on enemies. Technically not melee or shooting, but it's combat. Is this a platformer? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> why does Moose look like he's frozen? He does. Because, because he's holding he still. <laughs> 
can't see the white of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fire until you see the white of his eyes. Fifteen <laughs> seconds. What if he's wearing glasses? Who is it? Who whose question? You. It's Who's, yours. Fuck. What am I not asking? A, not a platformer. Uh, you could go art style, I guess. Or two D or three D game. Is it a is it a two D game? No. It was three D. Mm-hmm. What did he own he? at that time? I think he would have owned PlayStation 2 instead of Xbox. He would have owned an Xbox. I own both. Hmm. 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 Well, how, how do I want to tackle this now? Um, mm. 15 seconds. Mm. Mike, we love you, but you can't help us. <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna let you this time. <laughs> uh, Five seconds. Okay, so are have we confirmed if there are even enemies in this game? No, no you can ask him that. I need a player. question. Are there Man. are there are there even a, a, an opposing force in this game? Yes. Okay. He, he said that like it was like it's such a oh wow we're on the right track. <laughs> no, my my it's it's cool, Mike. You know you're new to this. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> it <laughs> uh, uh, there's an opposing force. Hmm. Uh, All right, wait. Are we in a huddle now? Since was that fifteen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're in, in a huddle. huddle so. Okay. So there's an opposing force. It's not a sports game. Opposing oh. force. I'm thinking. What if it's something dumb like Tetris Attack or what are some other dumb puzzle games? But it didn't initially release on. Wow. Well, Tetris is older. Tetris, than Tetris is older than, than. What if it's 2000. a ra- what if it's a what if it's a racing game? Right. Like, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be Grand Theft. What if, it, it, what if it's what something if dumb like Extreme G? No, but Gran Turismo was exclusive. It, yeah. it had, he said not all the systems, but he didn't. So. What about Crash Burnout? Nitro, Crash Nitro loves, Kart Racing, Burnout. He loves Burnout. Uh, I do love Burnout. Burnout's he, really good. He loves Burnout Paradise, guys. Um, <laughs> I do. I don't think 45 that seconds. On, that probably was not released on all of them. Burnout Paradise didn't come out that gen, though. We want to ask if it's a racing all game. The, all the Burnout, most of the Burnout games are multi platform, though, because I had some for GameCube. So. 30 seconds. Uh, Do we want to ask if it's a racing game? Why? Wow. Yeah. I, something, what if it's something like SSX also? Like, what if it's something dumb like that? Ooh, SSX. 15 seconds. SSX did start on the PS2 era, but it was well, on yes. everything. No, yeah. I, asked, I asked if it was sports. Snowboarding's a sport. Okay. He does have a good point. I need a question, gentlemen. <sighs> is it a race? Is it a racing game? No. Okay. The, what if it's something dumb like... No, never mind. Wait, how did we just jump... To seventeen, I, ju- I hit the, I hit enter early. You okay, guys are I was going to say, whoa! I was like, we're <laughs> on sixteen. No, you guys are you guys are. This is question seventeen. All right, and it is it Corey's? No, no it's, it's yours. yours. No. Uh, have we asked? Do you even play a human? Did do we ask that? No. Should I ask that? I think we should ask that. Yeah, probably. Do you play a human? Yes. Okay, you play a human. Right. Uh jeez. Um. Wow. Okay. Um, should I go, should I go art style? Would that make sense in this situation? Well, it's not two D, so it's got to be three D. So uh, do we have we even confirmed that there's combat? What if there's magic in this? Uh, um, you said there's an opposing force, but I know, but that could be like you could be like card battling. You could be yeah. An opposing force is very vague. 
I thought, I thought, I thought. So far, also, that was my favorite question. This one. Now, now we're gonna we're gonna pause the timer here for a second. I yeah. I thought we were always under the impression if we asked if there was shooting, that would also include magic. I thought like, we that was magic. That it was different. That, I thought we I thought we decided that shooting and uh, and shooting and magic were not the same. Yeah, I thought that's I what all, we were because doing for too. a long time I always thought they were. I I was with I would be I was with you I think last season. Yeah, because we, John we Wick had, is not the same as Harry Potter. Clearly, different. are you are you sure? There's a lot of death in Harry I Potter. Mean, when when Harry Potter's <laughs> testicles finally <laughs> drop, maybe he becomes John Wick. I don't know. <clears throat> Wiki so there Potter. could be magic in the game. Wiki Potter. All right. Uh, all right. I'm just going to ask that. Good. Is, it, is there magic in this game? There's magic in every game. No, uh, no, there's no magic in this game. <laughs> Opposing force. It's not oh. a sports game. What if it's, uh, what if it's like, when did Guitar Hero oh, geez. come out? PS2. But That's PS2. But that era, it was only on PS2. Not well, he fun. said it came this, out that era wasn't on all of them, though, so that would fit the bill. I know. He didn't say True. it was on more than one. He just said it wasn't on I all I mean, it, it didn't start coming to other platforms to the following generation. We could... Do you we could, use a I mean, peripheral, maybe? Yeah, yeah ask that. Peripheral. Do you use a peripheral? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I probably should have clarified. Moose. He's going to say a controller. What am I asking? Do Matt, I, Aaron Moose, ask if it has five different colored buttons on the... <laughs> Does it have five different colored <laughs> buttons moving up on the screen? Let me see. No. Do you hmm. use a peripheral? Hmm. In your five minutes. Remember... You use a peripheral on every game. I knew that I should have clarified. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> a controller is a peripheral. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. I can only answer the questions you guys ask. Does it use a uh... hmm. All right. Well. No combat. And it's part of a series. I mean, shoot. What if it? What if it's something like amplitude or or frequency or something? But are those in that, series? That is, the, that is the yeah. series. That is the series. That is the series. Yeah. Uh, amplitude is the series, and frequency is equal to amplitude. Mm. And it started no, on PS2. Frequency was the first one. Amplitude was the sequel. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. You know what I meant. Yeah. I was frequently come out. <clears throat> PS2. PS2. Amplitude. One minute down, gentlemen. I don't and know if it came out on Amplitude. The, yeah, it came out on PS4 and PC. Yeah, I think they. I feel like they crowdfunded the remake. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did. Oh, man. Um, we don't have any more. I questions. have like. No, you guys are in your five minute huddle. Yeah, right? that's what I thought. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I agree with you, Mike. Controller shit. And yes, they are peripherals, but whatever. Anyways, uh, uh, this is this is the game. This is the game we chose to play. I know. Uh, uh, he would he would tie us, man. Um. What if it's and, oh? And what if it's and, what if it's wait? Time out. And to clarify, Mike, controllers are peripherals because they are not attached. To the system. <laughs> that's that's computer programming 101. What if it's Tycho Drum Master? <laughs> I don't know like, what that is. Or like DDR. <laughs> Ooh, DDR. There's an opposing force you have to beat. I know there's there's that in Tycho Drum Master too, and you have to use it. <sighs> uh. So we got amplitude, DDR. And Tycho Drum Force, which I've never even heard of. But your timer is halfway gone. I mean, I I'm fine with I'm fine with their like Jason. What do you think? (sighs) 
<laughs> uh, man, I think it's I think it's either judging my mat. It's either it's a music game, but I I feel like it's I feel like it's either frequency or amplitude, or or something dumb like Tycho Drum Master. No. <sighs> Uh, man. I'm gonna let you make a decision, but I, I'm leaning. I, probably, I, I like I like the way you're going. I like the route you're going. Your I logic is those, sound. I'd say frequency, but I don't even know. Yeah, but the thing is, somebody already used frequency or amplitude in one of the other game other seasons, and I don't but know. Seasons wipe the cl- wipe the slate clean. Just because we haven't used them doesn't mean we can't. It's a new season. All right. Well, you, what do you think I should guess? Frequency or Tycho Drum Master? I can tell you which one not to guess. You could. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to. Okay. Um, that, that tells me that he's going to tell us the right answer. No, he's going to tell us but the other one. You guys have a minute left. Like he's gonna tell us one of them's wrong, but the other one's probably wrong too. Well, Tycho Drum Master is definitely the wrong one. Why do I feel like frequency's wrong too? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got forty seconds to decide, gentlemen. Question: If we say amplitude or frequent, like if we say amplitude and its frequency, do we get points for that? <laughs> Because it's like the same game. Ugh, man. All right. Sorry. We don't. Is it? I, I know. I just. I man. Are you, he's guessing. Is Here it? He knows. No. Is it frequency? No. Now, want to bring up some points. You guys asked me if it came out during the PlayStation 2 generation. That wasn't the, those aren't the exact words that you asked, but that essentially is how I answered that question. It did come out on the PS2, but it was well after the PS2 had it was well after the PS3 had come out. This game was initially released on October 27th, 2009. In North America, it is part uh, of a two Bible game series. It is part of a two game series. No, the 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 Dwayne the Rock Johnson's first foray into series video games is not is not the answer. Uh, it is DJ Hero. Oh, music was music was close, guys. At least we got close with music. Uh, man, yeah. You know? Now, this is why I didn't mince words with after 2000. I wasn't going to say, like, I feel like if it was cl- if it was a little bit closer, I would have said, okay. I would have said, Moose, Corey, help him phrase this correct question correctly or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we were on the right track, at least with you guys. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, game. you guys found your way there. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I felt like it was. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. I mean, it, it's 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 it wasn't a popular series. Um, no, the, but it's one the, we could have gotten. The opposing force is the other player. If right. You have two well, yes, yeah. and right. it does that's use the peripherals. Was, you need the turntables. That's why at first I was thinking it was Guitar Hero. And there, there's there's three buttons on the DJ Hero Kid, if I'm not mistaken, not five. You are correct. So, yeah, well played, Matt. There is online, there is online or couch competition, Mike. They asked me if there is an opposing force. Yeah. And the answer to that question is yes, there is an opposing force. Yeah, the other player. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't say yeah. combatant. We just said opposing force. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Well, that was a well, good game, man. That was. At least yeah, it's at le- like, at least it's a game we heard of. <laughs> I mean, great. Yeah, yeah, my, I mean, unlike I Pokemon, don't. I mean, who the fuck has heard of Pokemon? No, got uh, 
<laughs> and, and, and Corey know, broke know, his own goddamn rule. <laughs> I know, Corey, I know uh, Corey hasn't heard of Abidox, but at least you did, Matt. So yeah. it's at least we're sticking with beef that it's, aren't so far off the reservation. To be fair, I think it's, to be fair, in, during the NES generation, if it's not like Mario, Zelda, or the basic Nintendo franchises, I probably don't know what it is. Yeah. So. Or I mean, it, it's nice Zelda that we're Zelda. not right. trying to use like obscure games just to like like win. Like I, I like I just pick, I picked Abidox because I played it, but I was like, mm-hmm. I know people, other people have played it, but it's like it, you're not picking like some. Like game from like I don't know like you're, you're not picking games. some broke ass game that nobody yeah bought. right exactly like I'm right. not gonna get some uber indie game on the PS4 so that you yeah. guys can't even freaking get it so energy right. cycle. You know. what what's happened? that energy cycle yeah <laughs> energy cycle I don't even know how you would describe that Mr. Mr. Masaji oh god <laughs> my name is Mayo. <laughs> yeah. funny story a funny story i was it was before i had moved in here and uh, i had my ps4 over here and i was just i was i was playing mr masaji while i waited for reba to to get home and she came in and she's like oh what are you doing i'm like oh, i'm trying to get a quick platinum she's like what's a quick platinum why are you on, why are you on video game tinder right now <laughs> and i'm like okay let me explain. <laughs> I know that there's no way to make this look right. Yeah, but there's I, no way to make this look good. So. <laughs> but let me explain to you what a platinum trophy is. I feel like I should start there. Did that, and she's like, yeah, okay, I don't know why you're wasting your time with this game. Because it's a quick platinum. It's mm-hmm. not wasting time. Well, anyways. I mean, I, I still think Mr. Massage is better than fucking Orc Slayer. Yes. Anything's better than Orc Slayer, except for what is it, Little Adventures on the Prairie? Yeah, you, yeah don't even bring that game up. Oh. Piece of shit. Oh. I'm not going to let you live that down. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> no one. What is it? Extra, is that turd. extra tired turd. or turd? turd. <laughs> I, I think he's saying tired. He just forgot the E. I think so too. I'm, I mean, well, although if you look at the keyboard, U is right next to I. So that's true. <laughs> That's we probably true. were a little bit tired the last episode. Well, we were a little bit tired we and we were like super angry. <laughs> and yeah. And then we were. We were. And then the Pokemon thing was brought up again. <sighs> stop. Just gonna stop talking about it. All right. It was over till court. <laughs> Just saying. Um uh, so with the end of 20 questions, uh all of us are equal. Even with, even Marshall, he got his point. He's tied with all of us. So it's only a matter of time until we leave him in the dust where he belongs. Damn. Watch he'll show up like three, he'll, he'll show he'll show up like three episodes this season, and he'll just win. He'll, yeah, he'll, <laughs> <laughs> he'll be, be like tied for number one somehow. Um, yeah. uh, so with the end of that, that brings episode one hundred eleven of Nerds Gone Rogue to its conclusion. Uh, Corey Moose. Actually, no, Marshall, where can we find you? You can find me at GimpyJ, uh, G I M P Y J A Y Y, on all platforms Twitter, Instagram, PSN. Uh, that's all that Your counts. mother's phone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's where you can find me. Cool. Word. You can listen to me on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Okay, good. I'm glad you finally figured yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> like, like, come on, Jason. We know you're not done. <laughs> you could join us for Nerds Gone Platinum. Me, Moose, without the sunglasses. I hear that's the most okay PlayStation podcast on the internet. <laughs> You could email the show at nerdsgunplatinum at gmail.com, tweet us at mg underscore platinum, and call our hotline, 929-333-5762. I called it. 929-333-5762. Who calls people anymore? Yeah, negative Nancy Varnell called it, too, this week. 
Wait till you hear his call. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Jeff coined that. PlayStation sucks. Nintendo rules. X. <laughs> Jeff coined that, so we're just going to refer to him as Negative Nancy Varnell. Guy. Poor Ed. <laughs> well, I don't know. Sometimes he deserves it. But, but yeah, that's where you can find me. Moose, where do we find you? You can find me at Sven, S V H E N N, on all the social platforms that I want to be on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can listen to me and Jason and Jeff discuss the PlayStation platform on the over, the, over at NerdsCon Platinum. <laughs> we record Tuesday nights you, at 9, usually starting at 9. Uh, it goes up, what, Thursday mornings? It's 7, I believe. Uh, if you can't watch, you can listen then. Uh, you can also tweet us at ng underscore platinum or email us questions, comments, concerns to nerdsgoneplatinum at gmail.com. All spelled out. But, yeah. One of these days, That's Moose it. is going to get his name changed to at Moose, and people are going to be so confused. Yep. I know. Like, that, it's har- It's horrible. I don't even want to... I've already talked about nicknames. I haven't even talked about like the confusion. It's it's crazy. It's We're all confused, ass. Moose. All confused. But this this guy Brian's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this Brian guy? <laughs> See, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for one of you to be like Rafi at the end of that season of the league, where he's like, "Who's this guy, Kevin? He sounds like a real piece of shit." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I tweeted that Rafi to see if he'd come on the show. Oh, that'd be nice. We're called here. Do I? How did this get made? Slash, NGP crossover. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You get Andre Rafi. Oh, that'd be great. Andre's hilarious. Yeah. Well, okay. I am infinite underscore rewind on every social media platform I choose to be on. Uh, You can't find me on any different show unless I'm guesting. I'm just here. Um. Catch me writing on ngrradio.com. My newest uh, weekly rotation will go up uh, tonight. And, yeah, I'm finally back to doing that. I took a few weeks off because uh, I do need it to sleep. Life Um, happens. Life happens. Um, I'm finally starting a a full-time x-ray position. Yay. Uh, Yay. Monday through Friday. The only problem with it is, is that it's third shift. So uh, that'll that'll be I, on mon- Monday on Mondays. My morning will be Nerds Gone Rogue, and then I will go to work. <laughs> so, and if so, that doesn't work out, we have we. I mean, I guess we'll talk about it if it doesn't work out. If it, if it doesn't work out, you know, just get your resumes ready. You can you, all this can be yours. Uh, I get a low, guess. low price of twenty nine ninety five, free <laughs> for the low, low price low of three ninety nine. Three um, ninety nine. <laughs> and then uh, I, but with that position, I will actually probably start streaming more, um, and I will start being available to play multiplayer more, um, and. Yeah, work life balance. I I've actually figured out a way that that'll work. I will actually finally get to the gym, uh, and hopefully start losing a bit of my trunk because it needs to happen. Corey, take us out of here. Okay, well you can find me at Corey and HD eighty six on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find me at Corey and HD on Twitch. I'm going to start streaming more as well as soon as I get these <clears throat> channels done. Uh, had that dumb error message today while I was uploading stuff to the Xbox channel. And it was just like, apparently you can only upload a hundred videos a day. <laughs> and uh, I think it was just cause it was the Xbox channel. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, no one plays Xbox. Stop. <laughs> Wait, that, that's just not stop. mine worked. I only had 90. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, but yeah, you can find me on Nintendo power block on Tuesdays at 7 a.m. Uh, check out our new channels. They are, going up slowly but surely uh we're not i don't know if we decided to move the launch up or not jason and i were talking and jason i'm sure you talked to moose and jeff about that but 
Uh, we might be launching them a little bit earlier because it didn't take quite as long to finish it, mm, all this stuff. I'm, but dude, I'm ready for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, let's do it. I'm all. We're also uh, well. I mean, I'm also reworking the website a little bit to make it easier for everyone to get their stuff on there. So, uh, mm, individually wrapped platform channels on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, you can also find me on Arsenal X sometimes, which is our Xbox podcast on Wednesdays. Check out our secondary show, The B-Sides, on Fridays at 7 a.m. Uh, this week's will be the quickest B-Sides ever. Yeah. Matt tried to stump us with a game, and we finished it in like five minutes. So. Yeah, it was good. Yep. Check out all of our content. Uh, just keep on subscribing. It's a good time. Tell your friends. Yeah, tell your friends. Everybody tell your friends. Tell your one friend and have that one friend tell their other friend. <laughs> the other friend that's not you because you know they're cheating. Yeah. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways, this has been Nerds Gone Rogue. You can find it every Monday at 7 a.m. on your podcast servers of choice, including Spotify and iHeartRadio. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we love you. Yeah. Banana and out. You're welcome. Word. Bye. Say hi to Bernard. Yeah. Hi, Bernard. Hi, Bernard. <laughs> that was a good time. That was that a good was show. A good Thanks for Thank joining you. us, Jason. Thanks for joining, Jason. Thank you You're for welcome. joining us, Mike Garcia and Deshaun, as always. And uh, thanks yeah. for the comment, Mike. We're, we're, ha- we're happy you're here. I got a weird error message today trying to upload stuff to the new Xbox channel. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's, uh, it's stupid. Because you're only a lot of, you're only a lot to upload so many videos a day, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I guess, I guess you're only allowed to upload up to a hundred hours of video every twenty four hours, <laughs> or it'll reject. It'll start rejecting your videos. So now I have to wait till tomorrow to finish it. Which is Do you think? Uh, well, I guess um, it wouldn't affect the fact that uh, Jason's doing videos for NGP. Yeah, he he did, but he did he did it over a span of like three days. So okay. And then he didn't publish any of them until like they were all uploaded, which was probably what I should have done, but. It's all right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all right. All right, gentlemen. What do you say we start a B-side? I guess. I mean, we can we don't, I mean, if it's if it's that much of a problem, we could just not we could just hang out. I guess. <laughs> so I'm I'm now tu- I've now turned into a girl. You were trying to ghost. I get it now. Thanks, Derek. No, that would be that would be me not responding to you at all or not showing up. And I have done both. Not to me. I remember. I remember. <laughs> my 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 wife's cousin when she came to visit one day or one time like a couple years ago she was like I don't know there was a situation where she was talking to this guy and like they were talking about like she was he was clearly ghosting her 
and they they were like trying to ask me if I ever ghosted anybody <laughs> because it wasn't the answer they wanted to hear. So. Oh, and you have? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I see. Now, I don't know if I have, <laughs> believe it or not. Like, they're, they're you were probably too young to do it. You got married at a young age, didn't you? Yeah, but uh, I mean, been prior to Reba, I was dating for three years. That's true. That's true. Um, but like, I don't, I, I don't, rem I don't remember specifically ghosting somebody. I remember specifically not calling them back. That's ghosting. Um, not necessarily. Only if you say you would. Like there were a couple of times when we went on a date, and we both just parted ways and. Never really acknowledged it. So I can only assume that the the lady was more than happy to not hear from me again, just as I was more than happy to not talk to her again. Yeah. I'm ready for Spider-Man. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I I it, should start, it should start preloading on Wednesday. I don't know if I am, believe it or not. What? What excited for Spider Man? Yeah, like I I, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be a solid game that I just don't care about because it's gonna be a more polished version of every other Spider Man that's ever come out. I mean, let's hope. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure Insomniac did a great job on it, but I'm just saying, like, I don't care about Spider-Man, and I just don't. It's nothing against the game. It's just, just one of those things, you know? Like, this year hasn't been jam-packed with games like last year was, but the fact that we just sort of bottlenecked with Metroidvanias in August, like, it's, I, like I'm not looking for a, a, a new one right now. Um... Corey, let's do this B-side. Fine. Please. Since you asked so nicely, jerk. Uh, okay, let me close all these windows. I'll stop watching all this porn before the show starts. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's weird that I'm watching two girls kiss and all I hear is your voice, so I don't know. Do you want me to narrate what's happening while you watch it? <laughs> Would that help you? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <sighs> oh, After oh, yeah. hours. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> just, use mm. your, just use your voice. I can only be happy when it's a man who's gone through puberty's voice. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. B-sides. What's our B-side topic? I, Matt's taken over B-sides because he had a bad day at work and needs to not vent about work, so Moose gets annoyed. <laughs> I was off today. I got paid for being off today. Oh, it must great. be fucking nice, you pricks. I get paid for being nice. off on Friday, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I work Friday, but still. All right. Only six more months until I get paid vacation. What? Nice. All right, here six we go. Six months? Well, after a year. You, your paid vacation doesn't start after a year. So you've been there. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So, so, yeah, well. Ours was 90 days at Lowe's. You'd start earning paid vacation. Well, guess what? I don't work at Lowe's. Bitch. Boost. <laughs> just, just saying. Well, it was the same with the place I'm working at now. I didn't have to wait. Well, I don't work where you work, <laughs> Moose. Bitch. Now. <laughs> Must be that North Carolina stuff. Must yeah. be lazy white people. All right, here we go. Bitch! No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Pick a good one. I only have one kind in the fridge. Mm. Smart man. Mm. Well, mm. Kelly and I are doing a... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to open the chat up first before I switch over, but uh, Kelly and I are doing a... Uh, 
cleanse. <laughs> Not a cleanse, just a we're gonna <laughs> quit uh, beer drinking for a while. So, like the whole month of uh, September. I'm gonna quit burger eating. No, no, that <laughs> no. Nobody ever said that. Uh, in fact, I just had I just had Sonic burgers back to back. My wife's yeah. making me pick berries and spinach. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> Open that My only chair. protein are roasted nuts. Welcome. There we go. No, I can't. I'm I'm switching to whiskey, Jason. You'd like that. Anyways, I'll be right back. Whiskey's a good time. I wish I wish I, I, wish I had the tolerance to drink more of it. But I just don't. <sighs> Cause I am a real hard one. Hmm. That was a that was the fastest B side I think we've ever done. <laughs> I mean, it was I think it was less than ten minutes. This guy's good. They're delicious. <laughs> Moose actually beat a game not named Dark Souls. I did. <laughs> But I beat a boss in Dark Souls then, so I regressed a little. Down, currently downloading Doom. I think I'm going to run through that, run the table on that, do a couple little quick ones, and then get back to Final Fantasy 15. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see so he can uh, drink whiskey. Yeah. Who's actually beat a game not named Dark Souls so he can drink whiskey? I mean, all right, fine. I don't, I don't know what he means by uh, that. I, I Jesus mean, crazy. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can just drink whiskey if you buy it and put it in your mouth. It's uh, true. It's true. I was okay. going to try and see if they have. Jason, great job there. on the uh, Nerdscon Platinum channel, by the way. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a good job. Right. I need to get him my videos so that he can. I need to get. I need to finish week. more videos this week. I need to finish my writing. I haven't had a chance. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I'm working on some Switch video reviews, which I've been capturing footage for the last few days. Oh, that's cool. I'm just. If they're not like, oh, I'm reviewing the latest game. I'm just like practicing and want to get better doing stuff like that. Like I'm doing, I'm doing a Zelda one. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. YouTube sucks, <laughs> but thanks. Yeah. It sucks that uh, it's a platform. Okay, so you guys want to just go ahead and get into it? No. Okay. Yo. What's up? What's up? So, right. so are you from out of town? Come here so, often. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now? Um, should we start? You so, ready? So. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, man? Uh, <laughs> that scene in Night at the Roxbury where he has to like count to four of before he says, he's like, sup? One, two, three. I've never four. seen that movie. So, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was like, that was know. like, that was like one of the first quote unquote adult movies my dad took me to when I was a kid. There's nothing adult about that. No, I'm, that no, but I mean, like, <laughs> no, I just mean like it was like, I was probably a little bit too young to go see something like that. I don't know. Like, I've not, like, I've tried to go back to that Saturday Night Live cast and think it was funny. Most of it, I just don't. Like, the things that have probably aged better are, are the, like, I, th I think the Spartan Spirit was all right. Yeah. Um, that would be an all right one. But, like, I never understood Mango. I never thought any of that was funny. 
Was Manga uh, the monkey? No, it was. Well, no, that that was that was a no. Who was that? Was um, Mr. Peepers. Ah. Manga Manga was Chris Kattan doing his androgynous thing that. For some reason, only only dudes would fall in love with him. Like Samuel L. Jackson fell in love with him. Okay, uh, and and I was. Oh, just, oh I remember Mango now. Yeah, I remember Mango. Yeah, Mango. Like, like I, I feel like there was something potentially good there, but it just never really, never really came off. Um, I didn't get the whole superstar thing either. I've never just, seen it. <sighs> and then they made a movie out of it. Yeah. Um, Word. The only other thing I like was Will Ferrell as the suburban dad at dinner, where like the suburban family just all every time they talk they just fight, and then at one point they all start fighting, and then he breaks he breaks it up by saying, "I drive a Dodge Stratus." And, <laughs> 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 like I like that, <laughs> um, but see, and like, and those and those people are are funnier than some of their best skits on Saturday Night Live, or their supposed best skits on Saturday Night Live. I mean, Phil, Will Ferrell was lucky he had you know Celebrity Jeopardy <laughs> with Daryl Hammond as John Connery. Take that, Trebek. And I mean, you know that that episode where they did where they had like Norm Macdonald as Burt Reynolds is pretty good. Terry <laughs> mm-hmm. Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we start now? Yeah, waiting on you, man. Listen here, Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> can prick. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one.